Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pillars of Eternity. We are in the Searing Gorge, where I was intending to get the entire time last episode, and I finally got it at the very end. It looks like it's full of drakes. So okay. the first thing I'm going to do is to rest up, and then sneak around and try not to get my ass kicked by drakes. Alright. Anything new? Nope. Let's go ahead and try right, to explore then. this place. I'll go ahead and get uh, stealth up. I'm gonna stick to this wall first. I feel like I should be able to loot that. Yeah, see hot springs. I knew it was some sort of volcanic activity. Yeah, I'm not seeing any Exit. Oh, there's an herb I can grab. Yeah, I'm not seeing any exits listed so far. I got a Zarip champion, which means that there's probably about a zillion Zarips and maybe more Drakes. So let me, uh... Let me get Edder ready. I'm gonna pull that champion and probably regret it. Leave it to me! Quang. All right, that's a lot of champions. That's a lot of Zarups. Yeah, I don't know what I expected. I pulled this game's version of the Kobolds, and I don't know why I didn't expect like about a zillion of them. Actually, you know what? He ought to be right here. Let me uh, get my front line set up, which I probably should have set up before, you know, pulling him. <laughs> my bad. Come on, grieving mother, you gotta back up a little bit and then attack this guy. So maybe this is not gonna be that bad. I think one of them's already down. Let's take out this skirmisher next. Skirmisher's out. Uh, let's t I think I just took out... Yeah, I, I killed that skirmisher so hard that I also killed the shaman right behind him. Or the priest or whatever. Meanwhile, that tank is like, What the hell? Why isn't anybody fighting me? They threw a chan They threw a whole party of kobolds at me. And I just completely ignored their tank. Stick these in my stash. More stuff to stick in my stash. All right, then. Keeping an eye out. Scouting mode and quick save. Yeah, what the hell, man? They they greet me with the drakes and then continue on with Zarabs. All right, this does not empty. This does not actually go anywhere. Wait, there's a drake. There's a drake. Let's get this shit set up. All right. Edder up front. It'll Mac. No, 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 no. It'll Mac. You go up front. Uh, grieving mother. Yes. You stay here. Durance will be right here. Everybody else. My two range characters will be there, and then our druid right there. All right, let's get this party started. Whoops. Alright, let's go ahead and not take a pot shot at this Drake. Alright, Drake. Only one of you. Just fall back. Okay, there's only one Drake. That's good. Still have to be a little careful. Uh, but it's not something I need to really worry about. Still alive? I need something sharp. <laughs> Oh, holy hell, I just realized something. Uh, my people are all frightened. And, of course, I forgot to get Consecrated Ground up. So let's pop Consecrated Ground and let's have my Druid pop Moonwell. I doubt I'm going to need both, but because I didn't have Consecrated Ground up at the very beginning, of course, 
my people have been taking some damage. So we gotta get both of them up real quick. Alright, I got Moonwell and Consecrated Ground up. My people should be alright. Drake's already injured. I almost, uh... I almost hesitate... Uh, to fight these things, because I know at some point I may be facing an actual dragon and not just a drake. Yeah, that's all it took was uh, some healing, and then, then I'm good to go. And that drake's down. And what's the bet? And there's another drake right around the corner. Of course. Come on. Let me loot it. Hey. All right then. Wait, why am I still in combat? Oh, that's why I'm still in combat. There's a there's a blight up here that never actually came. Can come after me? Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> My bad. Let me go ahead and, and run back here with that or Run away! Run away! All the way! Yeah, there we go. Alright, now that is a group of drakes. Let's go ahead and start on the young drake. Durance, you're gonna move up and you're gonna drop a, consecrated, a second consecrated ground there. No. I didn't mean the greed, grieving mother, I meant Durance. No bad. Durance needs to move up here and get uh, Consecrated Ground up again. The spell's so overpowered, but it's so... You, it, it, I, I just... Uh, I mean, most of the priest spells are really overpowered when you actually take a look at them. Compared to the wizard spells, it's kind of ridiculous. We'll go for the small flame blight next. Oh, well, except for Edder, who needs to engage this Drake. What the hell are you moving around for, Edder? And everybody else gets on the Flame Blight. Now I should be able to leave combat after these go down. Yeah. Why is the Flame Blight still alive? Again. And why did my people just rearrange themselves? What the fuck? Alright, now the flame lights down. Let's get this fight back, uh, back where it should be. Oh man. You know, I will say this. Fighting, fighting drakes is kind of pretty when it, when it happens. Because there's lots... Of things that they do, like breath weapons and crap. And my fox goes down. Can you knock him down, Edder? Yeah, I knocked him down. Kind of. I think he resisted it, though. Either that or these things don't have a knockdown uh, graphic. I don't know. You can knock down all kinds of things in this game that you wouldn't expect. You can knock down oozes. You can knock down flying creatures. Man, that death animation takes so long. Now I can loot these. Alright. And this one. Not bad. Don't need to rest after that one, although I am going to feel triage grieving mother, because she's almost like dead for real. Okay. Alright then. A blade in the dark. Okay, uh let's let's continue this. Ah, I don't think I've I don't think I've actually eluded that before. Admith's work. Nice. I suspect... Oh, crap. 
Um, I suspect what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, like, just another couple drakes around the side. Yeah, apparently. I say that after after I encounter one. But the main encounter of this area is going to be in that middle, in that middle there. Is there only one here? Please tell me there's only one drake. Don't even slowing it down. Okay, I don't need to do anything special for this drake. Then. <sighs> well, grieving mother's getting her ass kicked again. And that that was easy. That was the easiest Drake fight yet. Bump. These Drakes are very variable in their capabilities. All right, cruising on up. Does this unlock anything? It does. It unlocks Pearlwood Bluff, which is a new place, which I'm probably gonna have to look at next. Let me quick save that. Oh, f fuck. I quick saved just so I ran into an enemy. Alright. Well, let's get uh, Edder up front. Alright, the Zarnips. We're gonna take as they come. A champion. A champion. A priest Leave and a priest. Me. So we'll ignore the champion first. Because they can't do shit. And I just uh, got 100% on a bestiary entry, so... Priests are down, now the champions will go down real quick. And that leaves just this one. And this one's down. Bam. I don't. I don't understand why Zarups are here. I don't understand why Zarups are a thing. I mean, if someone can tell me, I mean, I from a lore perspective, I understand that they're a thing, and from an old school perspective, I understand why they're a thing because an old school encounter doesn't really doesn't really care what level you are. It's just there. So if you're wandering around the countryside, even if you're twentieth level. You will encounter peasants, you will encounter goblins and such. It's not like they're tailored to your strengths. But from this particular game balance uh, issue, this is a video game. I expect it to be a little bit closer to the new school kind of uh, game balance. These Zarups make no sense. Because all they do is, is they go down in like one round. That didn't work! Need to try something. There's supposedly this game's version of kobolds, and ever since 3rd edition in D&D, kobolds have been associated with dragons. So, I guess they're like the minions of these drakes. The ineffectual comic relief minions. Oh, and I'll right just then. make the, I'll just complete the circuit. Oh, there's a cave here. So there's plenty to explore. Alright. I should probably check out the central area here. And then the cave. So let's head down here. No, everybody needs to move down there. They get scouting mode up. While I and of course, as soon as I hit scouting mode, I get this Zarup just charging me randomly. Zarup High Priest. Yeah! We should be going down any moment now. Yeah, I was talking shit about Zarups, and then this one actually lives more than one round. He lived two. I guess that's impressive for a Zarup. Yeah, hold on. 
Come on, let me loot this. What, what do you mean I can't loot it? I'm still in combat. Are there more Zarps around here that are like linked? No. That was weird. It wouldn't let me exit combat until just some arbitrary point. Is there actually anything in here though? Quiet. No, this is just a, a stream. Whoops, not bad. And there's the last Zara. Or three. Can't get a good yeah, these shot. things are folding like, uh... Like something that folds very well. I don't know. What do you expect from me? It's 2 in the morning. <laughs> Small flame blights. Another creature that I have no idea why they're here. Unless this place was accessible long before I got here, and I only just noticed. Let's go into the cave, then, and complete this exploration. I have no idea who's still on my channel right yet. I'm gonna double check. Alright. Um. Oh, I'm here. Let's head on in. Dun dun dun. Into the cave. Now, I was supposed to find something at Searing Gorge. I, I better look at my quest list. Oh, here we go. Find the token of Magrum. This is not even the same quest that I was that I was on before. Oh. I'm sorry. I came to Syrian Gorge thinking this was one of the gods' quests, and I just real just remembered Frigga was the uh, tranquil adept of Magrin. I talked to at the end of Act Two. Her quest was available as early as the beginning of Act Two. So the reason why I'm walking all over this shit is because it's an old A quest. But I may as well do it. Now I'm here. That's how you know she's excited. Man, Durance, why are you so nasty? Let's uh, creep through here. Small flame blights. Those are the champions and the whole works. Well, if I can bottleneck them, that's good. Hold on. Oh shit, I just realized the grieving mother's about to go down. Come on. Okay, Zarp Champion is at 100% in my best year. And that one's down, I believe. Yeah, this fight's a little bit rougher just because I... I kind of got caught in a bottleneck and they're... Like, the NPCs are actually using the uh, bottleneck to a better... A better sit A better degree than I am. Sorry, I was just watching Grieving Mother get herself... Oh. And there's just this one guy back here. Let me go ahead and field triage greeting, Grieving Mother, except I can't because I've already used it. Nobody's got any field triages left. Oh. Oh, there's still a guy left? My bad. Totally forgot about the champion. Splat. I feel like I should... I feel like I should rest. Because Grieving Mother is low enough that she can actually physic she can actually really die next. Alright then. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go up there yet. I gotta loot this. Camping supplies, yes. How am I on this place? I suspect there's gonna be like just a couple more encounters, so I'm gonna rest. My people need it anyway.
And onward. Let's quick save the game. Small flame blight. Oh. I feel like I should micromanage this fight instead of being zoomed way the hell out. But this shit just goes down so freaking quick. So much. Let's get this champion. Come on. I thought you guys let the fox through, huh? Knock it. Champions down. Then the high priest, we gotta take that down. Come on, Sagani, let your fox through. There we go. And that is why you have to micromanage sometimes. And the next one. And the next one. Yeah, you know, once the major ones go down, the rest just, just collapse. I don't even—I don't even think I hit that skirmisher, and he's already almost dead. He was taking damage just looking at me. Oh, this is a greater flame blight. No wonder it's taking a little, little bit to kill. And it's down. Boom. And grieving mother is already almost down. What the hell, game? I'm gonna let her, hey. let her heal up a bit. Come on, let's loot all this crap. And zoom out. What do we got here? Alright, um... What does it say? Rippling right, waves of heat rise. Yes, yes they do. I do. I, I like how the the effects make this this place just look hot. I mean, this place looks scorching. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh fuck. Kale the silent. The drake cocks its enormous head, looking at you. It issues a, steam, a stream of words directly into your mind. Glowing, burning spark. You, elf thing, you come to take my spark. Yes? What's the spark? The drake coils its body protectively around something. Spark is an ember, warm, glowing, beautiful. One day I will become a burning thing, bright and terrible like my spark. I promise that I didn't come to take your spark. Liar, the drake roars. You come to steal it with your cold, dirty paws. Now this is a named Drake, Kale the Silent. And this guy looks more than moderately badass. This looks like an actual dragon encounter. Holy crap. Alright, this is where it gets kind of... This is where it gets on, man. This is where I need to go into full micromanagement mode. Edder is going to run up and engage the big bad. And I'm going to have to turn him. I'm going to try to turn him. Come on, turn him. Everybody else needs to get on these champions. However, I'm going to throw up one of my very low-level spells. Chill Fog. On these. And I'm going to throw up one of my high level druid spells Hailstorm. On like basically everybody but Edder. And let's see how this goes. Boom. Okay. I don't know if that helped any. Probably not. I'm going to assume Edder's going to be okay. And we're just going to go ahead and take these guys out as they come by. One champion down. Who's next? I'm going to take out these skirmishers in the back. 
Okay. Edder is good so far. Edder is still good so far. Actually, Edder is going to engage defensive mode. I think I just killed another Zara. Let's get another Skirmisher down. And that Skirmisher is down. Now the champion. Hold on. Where the hell are you going, whoever you are? Grieving Mother. Why are you going down here? Oh, because she can't reach. Grieving Mother will come down and deal with these... These Zoroths over here. Ah, so much shit going on. Oh, wait, there's a priest. Let's get the priest down. Let's get the high priest down. Okay, that, that high priest needs to be down real quick. And it's down. Any more priests? Got one more high priest back there. Try to take it down. Because the priest will just heal me. Grieving Mother is down. Durs needs to come over here and get his act together. Let's get... Uh, Consecrated Ground up. Because I can. I'm going to have everybody turn on this champion. I'm going to have everybody but Edder get on the young Drake then. It's just a matter of thinning the crowd, then we can focus on the name Drake. They haven't been real eager with the fire breath yet, so that for that I'm grateful. Young Drake is injured. Badly injured. Come on. Still badly injured. I don't think I'm actually hitting this thing. Near death. And it's down. Last one is the other Young Drake. Do I have any others lingering around the outskirts? No, I don't. Good. It's all up to this last dragon. I haven't had to micromanage this as much as I thought I would. I mean, targeting, yes, but not... Not like using spells and such. The only person that went down was Grieving Mother, and she always goes down. Alright, finally, everybody on the big drake. Hail the Silent. Try to not Kale the Silent down. See if that even works. Misses with the additional effect. Try again. Boom. Misses with the additional effect. So I guess I can't knock this guy down. I can just use the additional damage. Okay, Kale the Silent is injured. And, um... You're not getting through me. Okay, so I just kind of sit back and watch him... Oh, fuck. I just realized, uh... Edder is low on health. Real low on health. Let's heal real quick. I let my... I let my, uh... Consecrated Ground expire. Just as I was going to kick back and relax, I let Consecrated Ground expire. Just get Moonwell up. And then we'll get Consecrated Ground up. Again. Okay, Moonwell's up and Consecrated Ground's up. And now this fight is over. Because I don't think you can actually out-damage those two, that combo. Moonwell and Consecrated Ground both stacked on one, on top of one another is a really effective healing combo. I haven't encountered anything in the game that can out-damage it quite yet. Okay, the thing's down to badly injured. 
I could use some additional debuffs just to get the thing down quicker, I guess. That didn't work. Try barbs of condemnation. And my healing auras just expired again. Edder, you need to do something. I don't understand why my consecrated ground just went away. It should have lasted longer than it did. Alright, I have to get this thing down. This is taking too long. Um, get Moonwell and Consecrated Ground stacked again. An RPG crawler, you get to pick something. What do you want to do? What can he do? He can do Magic Missile. Everything else is mostly burn damage. Oh wait, why have I not marked this prey? Okay. Let's get another single target. Oh, it is he dead? No, he's still up there. Another single target and we'll just do that Barbs of Nature thing. Dancing bolts. Yeah, sure, why not? <sighs> and some more magic missiles, or whatever they are. Minor missiles, my bad. Uh, everything I have is like burn damage. Alright, we'll do. Oh, Edder is down? Oh, fuck, Edder is down. Okay, let's just try and get this thing down now. Let's burn this away! Alright, why, why am I still hearing Edder? There's a lesson to be taught! I guess I have to kill this thing with magic missile or whatever. I don't know, my single targets are, are very limited right now. And get whatever I can on this thing. Burn damage again! What do I got? Firebrand? Once again, burn damage. Um... This is ridiculous. What can I do? Dancing bolts again, I guess. And I think I just got my own people in it, but oh well. Okay, Durance, what can you do? I don't know a hell of a lot. You Let's burn this away! Let's burn this away! Okay. So let's, let's kill this thing. There's no reason this thing should still be up. I guess I'm gonna have to pop my uh, bronze horn again. And drop another... Uh... Oh, I'm out of first level spells. Crap. Well, maybe the higher level of, of missiles, bounding missiles. Hope it doesn't hit my own people. I'm blinder than a horpox bat! Boom! Curse your eyes! Got an animat up. Endurance is almost down. For real, Endurance, you gonna go down? Let's do Revive the Fallen if I can. I think I'm gonna get interrupted before it goes off, but it's worth a. It's worth a look-see. I will try to paralyze this thing with this uh, ghoul's touch or whatever. And, um... What do I have that's good? Returning Storm, I guess. Okay, is it paralyzed? No, it's not. God 
damn it. Well, Durance was got Durance got knocked down before he could do anything. Man, fuck! Am I gonna get wiped on this thing when it is near death? It's been near death for like the past couple minutes. Let me run my druid up and cast that whole lightning thing, that big lightning spell. Okay, it's down. It's dead. Ah, thank God! I was worried for a moment there. Now that looks impressive. That was that was a dragon fight. That, I mean, that was as close to a dragon fight as I've gotten this game so far. What did he get? What did he have on him? He had burning stone and then everything else. On the ground where the dragon had curled around it. You find a stone that glows a brilliant orange, yet it's cool to the touch when you reach to retrieve it. Durant catches a glimpse of it, and his eyes bulge out of their sockets. He scowls, his mouth puckered as though having tasted poison, and he spits on the stony ground. A horror's cruel jest. The bitch has always known where to sink her claws to get a rise out of me. What do you mean? This... this stone you carry, this is part of the bomb that destroyed Iothus, the God Hammer. What's it doing here? One wonders. The bomb blew big, but it would not have sent fragments this far from the citadel. The drake must have carried it quite a distance, or Magrin merely put it here herself. You seem angry. For the first time, Durant seems to become aware of his demeanor, and as quickly as it is flared, it seems to recede, until you start to question whether he had been angry at all. Hmm? No, it is not anger you seek. I am merely the victim of a divine practical joke, it seems, that will remain between she and I, Watcher, for only I am able to appreciate it. Tell me about the Godhammer. Ask me on the road, Watcher. I'm in no mood for it with this horror's bitter perfume still clogging my senses. And is it worth anything? Ha! Ask Eothus. If you mean in terms of copper, there was a time when it might have been, but the market soon become flooded with pieces of the Godhammer, most of them no more than the trivial, encha trivial enchantments of swindlers dabbling in wizardry, counterfeit. As there have never been a reliable way to judge a fragment's authenticity, and the would-be judges are often watchers, questionable as the artifacts themselves, their value has plummeted considerably. Ask any shopkeeper if he's interested, and he'll try to sell you his fragments instead. Alright, let's bring it back to Frigga. You catch Durant scowling one more time out of the corner of your eye, but he says nothing else. Well, that quest is done. Let's see what else we got here. We had to have found some other things. Got some gems. It's not bad. Of course. Anything else in here? I'll take a look. Why? Why, game? Why would you do this? You've got this pile of treasure, and I can only access this. Yeah. Okay, this trap this is detected. I seen no, I don't wish to trigger it. At least not like that. Hey. I can't disarm that trap. What the hell, I man? For here. I shall listen for okay, I'm gonna quick save, and I'm gonna have Edder just walk up and open that shit. Yes. Boom. Did he actually die? No, he just got knocked out. Okay. Alright. Yeah, let's loot this. Alright, we got treasure, a coin pile, and some gems. Nice. Keep it an eye out. Let's scout around, see if I missed anything. I'll take a look. Alright. I have not missed anything, and I think... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's another thing to loot up here. We got magic gauntlets. Gauntlets of Ogre Might. Eh. I'm gonna grab them because I can put them on the Grieving Mother or something. Everything else goes in the stash. And that... Whoops. And that is how I'm going to call Searing Gorge, or Searing, Searing Falls, my bad. 
Uh, this was a completely uh, inconsequential quest for my quest line. I did it basically by accident. But it's good to clear quests out of my law. So, this has been the RPG Crawler with Pillars of Eternity. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and... Goodbye.